hello friends welcome to electronic circuit hub so today i'm gonna i'm gonna design the power supply with the help of operational amplifier Let, let's say if i want to design a small voltage let's say 1.8 volt 2.5 volt so with the help of operational amplifier the power supply the low voltage power supply for small application without using the linear regulator and the switching regulator so this is the agenda of today's videos so let us let us say you want to design 1.8 volt and you don't want to use linear regulator or you don't want to use switching regulator how you gonna do that asset uh, somewhere we want to give the dc shift or dc offset in that case we do require such voltage, such low voltage with the low current application like 1.8 volt and 2.5 volt. So this you can do with the help of operational amplifier. So you can join our hardware design online training program and uh, the registration for new batch is started and you can reach out to us via WhatsApp or the email first understand how this circuit works and how you are gonna design the power supply by using the operational amplifier so if you look at here I have used a simple op amp that is LM741 okay LM741 and the, the positive supply is connected to the 5 volt and the negative supply is connected to the reference or the ground and if you look at now with the same positive supply same supply Whatever I am giving, I am feeding to the operational amplifier VCC pin, the same pin I am connecting to the register divider. Here I have the register divider and the voltage at this node, at the divider node, I am feeding to the plus terminal of an op amp, the non inverting terminal of an op amp. Since if you look at Look at the R7 and R1. The value of R7 and R1 is both are the same, both are the equal. That means if I talk about the voltage divider, voltage divider, we gonna get here 2.5 volt. At this node, we gonna get 2.5 volt while my input is 5 volt. Now, this 2.5 volt is directly connected to the non-inverting terminal of an op amp. And then if you look at my negative terminal is connected to the output and uh, that means op amp is working working as a voltage follower or the uh, unity gain amplifier unity gain amplifier or voltage follower or the woofer whatever you have the input you are going to get same at the output but since we use the op amp and the op amp has high input impedance high input impedance it is isolating your input current with respect to your output current now you get 2.5 volt here and as per your requirement you can change the value of r7 and r1 to get the required output voltage now let me run the simulation and let me show you what is the output voltage so I run the simulation. I'll tile window vertically for now. And let me check what is my out input. So V plus is 5 volt. And uh, what voltage I'm gonna get here? So I'm getting here is 2.5 volt. If you look at the green color, I'm changing the color right now. This is this is 2.5 volt. And what is my output? If I click on the output, I'm getting the output of 2.5 volt, which is which is same as your input with the isolated output and since i connected the load here is 1k so the current might be 2.5 ampere or so so if you look at ir9 current flowing through the load resistance 9 is uh, 2.5 ampere if you want to get 1.8 volt output with the same input voltage what you can do is you can change the value of register to let's say 2.65k let me change and let me see so if I change the value of register, you have to run the simulation again. And now this time, if you look at your output voltage is not 2.5 volt, it is 1.8 volt and the current is going to be around 1.8 ampere. So guys, that is how that is how for a small current application, let's say 
uh, uh, 20 milliampere, 30 milliampere current application, wherein you need only one DC voltage to give the offset, to give the DC shift in your circuit, you can use op amp to design your power supply rather than rather than using rather than using the linear regulator or the switching regulator it's a very cheapest way it has an agenda you can use general purpose open with the small with the some three four passive components and that is going to generate your output voltage okay so hope guys you understood how you're gonna design the power supply with the help of operational amplifier for a small current application if you have any further question on this topic feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video